I watched a bunch of racists at a rally walking around with American flags draped over their shoulders and waving from flagpoles. They recited the Christian Lord's Prayer and sang, God bless America, and they also spewed the kind of venom we like to think vanished when the Ku Klux Klan and the American Nazi Party disappeared from public view. It was a good reminder that although bigotry has declined in this country, it hasn't vanished. It lives in small meetings, on YouTube, and in blogs, ready to surface when conditions are right. What conditions allow bigotry to come out of the shadows? Not much more is needed than an absence of opposition. If we let the bigots poison our country without standing up to them, they will. And they feel the same way about us. If you read what they write, if you listen to their conversations, they are upset with the thought that the U.S. is becoming an increasingly multicultural society. They are angry at individuals who do not condemn homosexuality. They rant about liberals who accept that people have different customs, beliefs, and opinions. They see tolerance as a threat to our country. Who is right? If you are someone who thinks we should welcome diversity, you can find support for your view in the Bible or the Koran or in other religious texts. But the bigots think that the Bible supports their brand of exclusivity and that the Koran doesn't really belong in this country. If you think the U.S. was founded on notions of liberty, you might think the Constitution is on your side. But the bigots know that the Constitution, as it was originally adopted, accepted slavery, and they think modern interpretations of the Constitution are not valid. If you think you can make your case by showing that throughout history the U.S. has protected minorities, the bigots think minority rights have gone too far. The bigots have an answer for every historical fact, every philosophical argument, and every scientific proof that they don't like. You just can't win an argument with the bigots because they aren't interested in considering viewpoints other than their own. All we can do is to stand up to them and expose them for what they are so that people who might fall within their influence realize that despite whatever rhetorical disguises they might adopt, the bigots are still just hateful, ignorant, Bigots.